recall from the video that Fred made a few weeks ago that he indicated there were three of four indicators that have already occurred uh, that indicate we are going into a recession and potentially a market correction. The third of which he indicated in that video was that the two-year treasury rate, as indicated by the blue line, will drop faster than the 10-year treasury rate. And so you see that's happened. So that's the third indicator. We're, we're still waiting for the fourth, which, which I'll elaborate on a little bit more later. Um, so we have made some trades already in preparation of what we feel is going to be a market disconnection going forward. Back in October, we sold out of all bond mutual funds and bond ETFs and transitioned that money into actual bond treasuries. And earlier this year, we sold out of large cap values or large cap growth stocks and managed futures and put that money into a money market account. A money market that currently is earning in excess of four and a half percent. And so the, now the next thing we're going to do is start looking for ways to transition that money into uh, long-term bonds over time. So the Fed's mandate currently is to try and stop inflation. As we know, that's the one biggest economic struggle out there is inflation. Everyone has experienced inflation in some capacity or another. And so it's the Fed, Fed's mandate to bring inflation down. Uh, and that's why they keep raising the Fed funds rate in the anticipation of ultimately being able to bring interest rates down. I mean, not inflation down. Uh, now, what's going to happen is at some point in time, they will achieve this objective. And when they do, they will stop raising the interest rate. Now, this is a chart from back in 2000 where the Fed was trying to get rid of inflation and they leveled off the Fed funds rate for a period of time. And then once they feel that they had accomplished the goal of, of uh, beating inflation, that's when they started to lower the Fed funds rate. And normally that's when you start to enter into a recession. And so what we're doing, and this is the fourth indicator, is when A, they stop raising interest rates and B, when they actually start dropping interest rates. And so what we're doing now is we are slowly transitioning the money that was in the money markets into the actual long-term bond investments. Because if we're in a falling interest rate environment, as indicated by the drop in Fed funds rate, long-term bonds will benefit accordingly. And so what I'm gonna invite everybody to do is you know, keep watching those Fed fund rates announcements and look for when they actually start to um, level out those interest rates, stop raising interest rates, and when they actually start to, to drop the interest rates. But we feel that's when there will probably be some sort of disruption in the stock market. And that's when we feel being positioned in long-term bonds will be beneficial for shareholders or for our investors long-term.